Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interests of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Checking in on the dollar, miners, and gold. So we had a bullish push and continuation in the morning. And then we lost the higher low pattern with a three-hour dump. So we had Yellen speaking again at 10 a.m. Eastern, and we see another reaction. The biggest reactions we're seeing in her speaking are in gold and the dollar. So as soon as we broke 101.16, we broke this higher low pattern. And here we are right now, back testing that 101.02 previous resistance now as support. So we bounced off of 101 even, now we bounced off of 102, make that 101.02, and we'll see if the bulls can maintain that level and try and hold up here. If we cannot, we have a bearish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame. That's a very clear inverted hammer. The upper wick shows tons of profit taking, and we close near the low of the day. So momentum is favoring the bears. If we see a red day tomorrow, we will confirm this candlestick. And again, I keep drawing this pattern as something to be keeping an eye out for. The bearish reversal potential head and shoulders pattern if we were to drop back down now and head back to 99.43, this neckline of support, which had our double low, that would be a bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern. So I'm going to keep my eye on this pattern. I'm not going to assume that we're going to head back down to that level. I'm not going to assume we're going to break it, but this would be an ideal scenario for the bulls in gold and the miners. And we're just going to be keeping an eye on it over the next two weeks. So looking at gold, the reaction we had today, we pulled back in the morning with that dump and look at that recovery. That's a big time recovery. So we had that uptrend support line on the daily time frame, hold at the low of two days ago, hold at the low of yesterday, and it held this morning before the bulls finally gave up and we all out dumped. After that dump, the bulls bought the dip in a big way and recovered significantly. I have a downtrend resistance line on these last little lower high bounces, and we are currently right at that downtrend resistance line. And in order to break this level of 1235 and show that the bulls are back in charge, we're going to need to see a bit more upside. So we have this level, I keep pointing it out again in all these videos where we had price action back here, support, resistance, resistance, bulls need to break 1235, turn it into support to see the trend change in their favor. Daily time frame, although we dipped below that uptrend support line that has been holding day after day, bulls bought that dip and look where we closed, very strong. So I keep saying it, the bulls are perfectly fine with the consolidation that we've been seeing. They are very happy with how insignificant the consolidation has been compared to the bullish strength of the dollar. And we are right approaching that 1235 resistance. So all it takes is one bullish day to be right back at our highs of 1244.56. And if the dollar heads back down to 99.43 neckline support, we will be looking for the gold bulls to see continuation. Silver dump or bounced off this support line that I drew at 1776. Not sure if I explained this in the last video, but I put this support line here. You can see, you know, if you're ju judging where to put a support line, you put it at the low of the wicks or do you put it at the low of the real bodies? In this scenario, I zoom out and I look back at previous price action and I use those levels to determine where I want to put my line. So I personally would put it right at... 1776 or 1775 i'm going to choose 1775 if i put it at 1776 we would have a rejection from back here but you can see from 1775 all of the price action here in between lots of back and forth and rejections and bounces so as of right now three bounces off 1775 and the bulls are fairly strong heading trying to head back to 1805 the highest price that we have seen on this move so keeping an eye on silver it has been stronger than gold it has bounced off the 10-day moving average support time and time again and has seen really strong continuation so as long as the silver bulls look this good that is some extra momentum to favor the gold bulls as well Checking in on the miners, yet again, healthy consolidation. We could be looking at normal bull flag consolidation here. And we have the gap downs now twice in the past four days. 
we see the bulls buying the gap down open. So that's a pattern to recognize. If we see a gap down open, more likely than not that the bulls are going to buy that dip, at least this most recent week, including Friday. So we are on the verge of a bearish MACD cross. I'm not going to pay much attention to that. I'm looking at this middle Bollinger Band, which has been support all of 2017. That's ascending. It's 2421. It will be in the 21, 2430s tomorrow. And if it continues to keep holding, the bulls remain in control of this overall uptrend. Closing at the high of the day, obviously a good sign for the bulls. And if we see a break of 2536, we're going to be heading back to higher highs for GDX. Weekly time frame, we did break the higher low pattern for the first time. Keeping an eye out for potential bull flag consolidation on the weekly time frame as well. Right now, we are back testing and holding the 50-week moving average support of 2439. And it's normal healthy consolidation at this point. I was surprised that we saw over two months of continuation on this bounce without establishing support. So if we do see a bull flag of consolidation, that certainly is nothing that the bulls should fear. GDXJ. Also seeing strength and inside candlestick today so a bit tighter range 4092 is support and 4177 is resistance we are consolidating sideways same thing with the middle bollinger band holding for all of 2017 that's going to be in the mid 39 dollar range over the next couple of days so the bulls still in full control the weekly time frame has not broken the higher low pattern yet so that is a big difference between gdxj and gdx and we'll be watching to see if GDXJ is going to follow, which would mean a break of 39.68. But as of right now, we are well above that level. And that is not a risk currently that the bulls are worrying about. So normal healthy consolidation going on in the daily time frame. As I keep saying on these videos, the bulls are very pleased with how we have been consolidating. And on days where we would expect a lot more weakness in gold, we're not seeing that. We're seeing the gold bulls hold on. So it would take a loss of the daily middle Bollinger Band to be a red flag from this point on on these miners on their daily charts, which again are very strong, watching gold 1235 resistance, watching the dollar for a red day tomorrow to confirm the bearish reversal candlestick. And we will check back in after the close. Thanks for watching.